von diesem anderen. Example of an abstract intro we will be making today. Okay. First, we will be making this first animation. Very simple. So I've already got the light set up in my Lightroom here. It's not my Lightroom, but it's okay. Just get your own Lightroom. Looks pretty good so far. We're actually going to try to make an edge with this. So let's get that off. Sphere radius. Okay. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Hmm. I have the atom array. Do I need an extrude? I think we need that. Or do this. Oh yeah. There we go. Don't want to increase the sphere radius. Because that will just show the sphere, so we can keep that at 1. And the subdivisions, we can change that. Let's just keep it at 8. Okay, I guess this looks pretty good. We'll make that a different texture. It's barely noticeable. But just make this like a bit smaller. Okay, Let's zoom in here and see how it looks. All right, let's change this extrude in the abnormal array to 50 so it matches this one. That's actually not 50, but it should be working here, as you can see. But instead of this, what we can do is take this, put it on here, and I think it's C1. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is C1. Where that just puts it in the front of there. Okay. That would be R, because that's for rounding. And it only applies to the caps. Let's get another one and we will put this as R2 for the back. So now if you look at the back it has that too. So let's say it's looking pretty good and we will do the camera animation now. Let's turn that off. Okay, we will do the camera animation. So let's center the camera. Actually, you can just do this. And zoom out. Okay. Let's do the circle now. So seeing how he did this animation, it would be like starting from here. Don't have to copy exactly how he did it, but I guess we would have to go in pretty close to the logo. I think this is good enough. And let's add a keyframe to both the camera and the circle. And it's just slowly rotating around. Just do this.
don't make too big of a movement <laughs> let's say around 60 frames and it would be good okay and the camera I suppose we should zoom in a bit and this is the simple animation Actually, since we're rendering in uh, 30 FPS, we should make this 90 since it's 3 seconds. Let's drag this here. Okay, I forgot the camera. I mean, the circle. Okay, like that. Okay. Very simple camera animation. Always render it out and see how it looks before we begin to do anything. So I'd say it looks pretty good so far. We will change like the materials later in uh, After Effects. And if you want to get like a second camera, just duplicate this camera here. Remove this. And remove all of these keyframes. Let's get this to default rotation. And let's go back here. Alright. So we need a stage object. And for the first one here. 90 frames at the camera it would be camera 1 so let's add that here and at 91 frames we would add this second camera so it would be like this so it instantly switches it to our second camera now let's do the camera animation for this one So as you can see, the logo just slowly comes in. Let's watch that again. Okay. And it would go slowly like this. say 20 frames forward and for the camera we can zoom out a bit okay and then it will continue zooming out and it will rotate up like this okay I'd say that looks okay. I think that looks pretty good so far. Since it's like, I don't know what this is, but if you can change this to linear, so it's continually doesn't slow down at the end. And let's watch this. I guess we can keep this at, don't make this linear, but it's good so far. So we are done with our animation. And what we can do now is just save it, depending on like how much you want to render it, but I'll just render it in 720p to save time, from 0 to 240 frames. Keep this as you want. I'll put save, save as a PNG. Always save a um, compositing file so we can get the camera data. Let's get here. Let's make a render. 
uh, tutorial. Make a folder for the render. And just do here, I guess, tutorial. Tutorial AE for the compositing file, and there we go, it saves it. And then you can go here. Tutorial render, tutorial draw. Okay. And we are basically done here. Now we just hit the render button and we wait. So I'll see you guys in the second tutorial where we'll be doing the After Effects part with all of these effects and the sound also with these particles. Yeah, they want me down and out, I'm like, bitch, no way, bitch, no way. They talk that shit, they talk that shit for no pay, for no pay. That shit don't faze me, shit don't faze me, no way.